Okay, I just uninstalled Pro Tools 2019.5, the one that actually has an issue with the um, iCloud project synchronization and being deleted. And if you haven't seen the video, how I actually revealed that issue, you can click the link in the description and watch how that could happen to you if you are still running 2019.5 of Pro Tools. Doesn't matter if it's Pro Tools first, uh, premium or HD, whatever they have. So it applies to all. And according to uh, Avid, they have fixed it in this new version. So I'm just about to download and install it. And we'll find out if they did actually fix it or not. Of course, to download Pro Tools first, the free version, you still need an Avon account and you need to log in and download. You also need the iLock Manager account, which is again free, luckily. You don't need the iLock uh, USB dongle, but you still need the iLock um, app to be installed. And hopefully all of that is included in their website download links. So uh, let's go and find out. Holy shit, it's 2.76 gigabyte for Pro Tools first, 2019.6 for the Windows. And it's about 2.52 gigabytes uh, for the Mac version. What the hell do they include in here? Other than a few sound pools and things. I mean, it used to be um, Pro Tools first, 2019.5 is only 1.93 gigs. I wonder what else I'm going to get uh, an extra one gig. So to fix the issue, Avid has actually added just under one gig into the Pro Tools download. I hope there is something in there worth for my money. Well, I'm not going to bore you with the download and installation. I'll, um, I'll just do that in the background. As you can see today, I'm not, uh, I don't have any projects on. So I thought uh, for my subscribers who requested me to double check make sure that Avid Pro Tools is working correctly. So that's what I'm going to do straight after this. And um, let's find out if they fixed it or not. Well, after spending several hours installing it and testing Pro Tools first for the issue that I had discovered previously in 2019.5, um, following all of the steps that I had done previously, I did it a few times uh, and in 2019.6 of Pro Tools, looks like the issue of files, locally saved files being deleted, uh, I can fairly confidently say that has been fixed because I try to disconnect the internet as many times while recording, during playing, and all of those times. Um, the project actually um, was saved. And while I did not have any internet, I stopped the project, saved it, uh, you know, the local projects, and uh, came back and they were still there. Um, so that did not cause any issue because that was the one major issue there. But of course, I have to mention that um, regardless of that fact, you still need internet connection initially to sign in to Pro Tools. So if you don't, if you're working on a laptop and you don't have any internet connection, you cannot access your locally saved files and you cannot create any new projects as well uh, in the cloud or locally. It just won't allow you. And when you try to look at it, you'll say there are no local files available. So don't panic. That's only because it won't uh, allow you to open any project unless you are signed in, at least when Pro Tools starts. So even when you go back into your recent uh, list, project list, which they'll be listed there, and you click on it, it comes with an error message saying unrecog unrecognized file. But if you uh, connect to the internet and you run Pro Tools and then disconnect, once it's signed in and you're on the um, in Pro Tools desktop, from then on, it's not a problem. You can have no internet connection. You can create, I guess, a local um, uh, project 
you uh, save it and and continue working on as many projects that you have saved locally of course you cannot still create any um uh, in the cloud projects because you're not connected to the internet there's no way of synchronizing it so that is what i have discovered so as far as the bug that that was uh, discovered in 2019.5 that has been fixed i sort of can confirm again if you are encountering any issues let me know and i'll chase up with avid uh, again if i need to if i have to um but i'm not a pro tools user so i really don't care um i only done this uh, for you guys who use Pro Tools and who value my input. So I thought I'd do spend the time to show you what the results are. So yeah, 2019.6, um, complete deletion of your local files have been fixed, but you still need to sign in when you first start Pro Tools. And after that, if you disconnect the internet, not a problem, you can keep going. As long as you've got Pro Tools running, you can do whatever you like to do. Um, unless, of course, you need to synchronize to the cloud. That's another thing, obviously. Well, I hope this answers your question. And as I said, if you have any comments, if you have any other issues, please contact Avid Support and not me because I'm not Avid Support at all. But uh, please do share your experiences as well uh, with the issue so um, we can uh, know about it as well. I'm saying too many things, too many as well words. I'm just tired. Anyway, thank you. As always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.